All right, and on the phone right now is Washington State Governor Jay Inslee. He is on the phone. He's joining us from Bainbridge. Is that correct? You bet. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. I understand that you have now expanded the state of emergency. Can you talk to us about that? Yes, we, we expanded the state of emergency to make sure that we can keep propane and food deliveries coming. And basically that means just waiving some of the restrictions on how much and how long people can drive. We want to obviously keep these uh, vital supplies flowing. So this was a, a common sense uh, thing to do. And I want to thank everybody out there who's being safe and taking care of themselves and their neighbors right now. People seem to be really trying to pitch in and not drive more than they absolutely necessarily have to. I just heard a couple of people talking about how they've helped each other uh, shoveling and, and, and staying warm with their neighbors. So we appreciate what people are doing to get through this. Governor, you have heard all sorts of reports from across the state. Are there areas of concern to you right now? Which areas seem to be struggling or having some issues? Well, we had uh, we had uh, blockages on the freeways in central and eastern Washington today, which were uh, disruptive. You just heard reports in Whatcom and Thurston, but it is sort of sporadic, and we you know you can't predict with 100 percent certainty where it'll be uh, most dramatic. But everywhere in Washington is a day to uh, to try not to drive more than absolutely necessary to try to be safe. This is an issue if we do have power outages. To ask people okay. to be safe, to make sure you're not okay. you're not burning barbecues inside, you're not putting your Is electric, uh, your it's generators sweating. inside that can cause carbon monoxide poisoning. Uh, it's just a matter of being safe and, and uh, comfortable with your friends right now. Unfortunately, people are, are doing that. We want to thank all the emergency uh, folks that are working so hard. I know the state patrol has been busy. They had 400 accidents that responded to this morning, just in I think in King County. Uh, emergency crews are working really hard, and we appreciate people uh, doing what they can and not, not make their, their jobs even more difficult. So obviously, Governor, the big thing is safety first and foremost, but there are a lot of people who are getting out there to have some fun. You tweeted some photos, I believe, of sledding. Was that you? Is that you in there? Yes, I had to do <laughs> some uh, some uh, checking out of the roadway. Yes. For <laughs> so having my grandson on my back. and. Uh, <laughs> We found out there were some good snowy, icy conditions on Irene Avenue, which uh, the Bainbridge Island folks were grateful enough not to plow today. So we appreciated that. Yes. Wait, is that you on your back over there? Uh -oh. You fell down? Looks like you had a little bit I think there. I ended up, I ended up kind of splayed out on the ice. <laughs> my my uh, five-year-old grandson chased the lights and knocking his grandfather over off the sled. <laughs> Okay, so, Governor, because I've got you, this is Lori Matsukawa, <laughs> because we got you on the horn, when are we going to hear from you your decision on whether to run for President of the United States? Are you going to, are you willing to make that announcement right here, right now on King 5 News? I think we'll focus on the snow more than that issue today. There's something I'm looking at real seriously, and it's something if I do decide it will be in, you know, not months, it'll be in weeks. So uh, at the right moment, we'll make the right decision. But today we're focused on keeping people safe in Washington, and oh. I'm glad that's happening so far. All right. Governor Jay Inslee, thank you for joining us. Have a good time. Yeah, thank Have you. Have fun in the snow. Yeah.